The family is preparing to retrieve the remains of a loved one who had been buried in Honolulu. News 4's Lili Zeng is here in studio with this story. And Lili, this family, they've gone all this time without knowing where their relative had been buried. That's exactly right. A call came from the U.S. Defense POW and MIA agency, and it's probably one that most of us wouldn't really expect, including the woman that we spoke with today. Military it was a phone call four years ago that caught DJ Gentry off guard that would change her life. Out of the blue, I received a call from the uh, Defense POW MIA agency, and the conversation was that we have found you through Ancestry.com and linked you to this soldier. Do you know this name? The name Private Vernon Keaton, but to their family, he was just Buck, a cousin to her late mother. My mother always spoke highly of him. He's a very kind young man, and she said that he had the curliest hair you ever saw. So she thought really highly of him. He joined the U.S. Marine Corps during World War II and was killed on the USS Oklahoma during the attack on Pearl Harbor. Up until now, Gentry tells News 4 the family thought his body was lost in the aftermath. But it turns out it was buried in Honolulu for the past seven decades. After DNA testing, Gentry says they're in the process of this entering the body and returning him home. The plan is to eventually have Private Keaton buried in Oklahoma. Gentry says the entire experience has been surreal, but she's honored. This just brings more realism to me about our country, our military, and the sacrifices that were made. The family will be meeting with a forensics team. I'm told they'll be flying in from Quantico, Virginia, either tonight or early tomorrow. And from there, they'll be making the final preparations.